Hello ghouls and goblins, it's almost Halloween, so as is tradition in my household, it is time for the Halloween episode. We're featuring a graveyard in this particular one, so I had to build some graves and a mausoleum. In this video, we'll be covering the graves. Let's get started. These were pretty straightforward. I used ready board, cut out rectangles that were slightly shorter than two inches long and one inch wide, beveled the edges to make it look more like heaped dirt, textured them with balled up tin foil, and then cut graves of various shapes and sizes using a ballpoint pen to press in designs that hopefully looked a bit like grave script. In my experience, the best way to get realistic fake dirt is using realistic real dirt. So I lined up my graves in a catch basin sprayed them with spray mod podge and poured over play sand with some little crafting rocks in it. I let those dry and then pried them off of the, uh, the foam catch basin. As with all our builds, we're going to hit this with our black mod podge and paint mix to add some rigidity and structure and to stop the dirt from falling off every time we look at it. If you prefer written out versions of the tutorials, please do check out my blog at pipplepusher.ca. Every tutorial I do has a written equivalent over there. Then it was time to paint, so we had some nice dark base layers, a dark gray and a dark brown for the dirt. I also painted up the braziers I made the other week because those were still just naked and pink. Um, and then once that's done, it's time to dry brush. For dry brushing, I did a lighter gray on the graves and a tan on the dirt before hitting both with a very fine white overlay, and I found that worked really well. Here and there, I also put a little bit of the uh, darker tan on the graves as well, just to make them look a little bit more dirty. And there you have it. Here's the finished results in the graveyard with the mausoleum. That video is coming out next, so do subscribe to this channel if you want to see how to build one of those. Until next time, happy crafting.